I was pretty upset, um, and I basically was crying. The brother of the man accused of killing his girlfriend at a Coronado mansion six years ago took the stand today. He was wiping tears as he talked about their relationships and his tragic loss that week. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us. And Steve, he lost his son and his girlfriend, now testifying on behalf of his brother. The brother is being sued over the death of Rebecca Zahao, who died mysteriously at the uh, Coronado mansion where they lived back in 2011. No criminal charges ever filed, but now a civil trial is underway. Sometimes she, she wouldn't. Jonah Shacknai was asked to think back to July 2011 when he was summoned home after his six-year-old son, Max, was terribly injured in a fall from a staircase landing. Uh, I saw my son, Max, uh, laying on the ground uh, near the front door, um, being attended by some paramedics. And was Rebecca there? She was. His girlfriend, Rebecca Zahao, was with Max when he fell. She had gone back home from the hospital when Jonah and his ex-wife, Dina, met with a doctor. Dr. Peterson was unusually direct, uh, inappropriately direct, and he uh, basically volunteered that he'd been doing this for 30 years, that Max's injuries were similar to what he would see in a drowning, and that the best case scenario if Max survived was that he would never walk or talk again. His grief worsened the next morning when his brother Adam called to tell him that Rebecca was dead, hanged from a balcony at their home, the famous Spreckles Mansion in Coronado. I, I couldn't believe it. Uh, my son was uh, laying, fighting for his life in, in a hospital, and the idea that Rebecca was now gone, um, it, was, it was unfathomable. Max died a few days later. Rebecca's death was ruled a suicide, but she was nude, bound, and gagged, and her family believes she was murdered and brought a wrongful death lawsuit against Adam Shacknai, who was staying in the guest house. At 7, Jonah's forceful answer when asked if he believed his brother capable of murder. He called it inconceivable. Live downtown, Steve Fearman. So 